if you, um, and you go faster than just cutting it like every strip one at a time. You see, he's doing it one at a time, but you put four of them together, you get to go and be three times as fast. Even better, which chefs do, I put, I slice it, keep it intact, put it together, put the slices together, as long as you're able to keep it intact to get a nice slice. Now, I did this at nine times as fast. You understand? Yeah, that's what you should be doing with all your other ingredients. So once I'm done, notice what I'm doing. I always put it into a container. Never leave it on the cutting board. I hate it when you guys leave it on the cutting board. It's so messy. I'm also 100% um, anal. I know that. Me, almost OCD. I'm not like, I just hate that. It does bother me when I see things. Me. Okay. And this what chefs do. Okay, once I have this ready, I'm going to start adding my warm liquid a little bit. And I'm going to go and loosen things up. Good thing is, I add my liquid first because I can make this a little loose so that I'm not adding my dry. My dry is going to make it even more dry. I'm making it so that it's less dry. At this point, majority of your uh, muffins are all out, right? Correct? I, don't, I shouldn't be seeing anyone's muffins still in. Okay. You're going to go and add now my wet. I mean, my dry. Okay, I'm going to do it this in two editions. So I do it half of it. Yep, my flour mixture, all the dry ingredients. And at this point, I'm folding. See, I'm being very gentle with it. I'm not like vigorously mixing, I'm not panicking. I'm just you know, I think it's roll in the park. Okay, I'm watching how much I mix. And by the way, if you want your um, chocolate to be, I can tell if you've overmixed because the more you mix, um, your mixture will be more less chocolatey looking. It'll be a, a lighter color. Okay. So I'm gonna start adding this again. So I have one more time at the end. Notice my station. It's actually pretty much clean. Okay, I'm not spread out. I've always used um, the station. So um, work your, down your procedure because after this, you're going to be two. You're doing only one thing at right now between the two of you. Soon, you're going to be doing five things between the two of you in the same amount of time. Okay? So, work out your timing is key. Adding the last part. Okay, if you want, I can add, I can add my bananas in between, or I'm going to add it straight in the middle. That's me. So, or you can add it on the bottom. Up to you. You want a bottom, middle, or a throat? Bottom, middle, or throat? Bottom, raise up your hand. Middle, throughout. Okay. Throughout is majority. It's democratic here. Okay. Once you have that, I'm going to go and add my last addition. So when I add the next one, I don't have to thoroughly make sure that it's fully mixed. Okay. Because if I keep mixing each stroke, I'm actually preventing my uh, mixture to be, uh, it'll be, have a chance of having higher amount of dough. So, mixing gently, okay. Because of my bananas though, it's going to be thicker, so it depends on what you're going to make, okay. But it should be thin enough that you're actually able to pour your stuff in. So, I have this guy here. And you're supposed to be able to make 10, I believe. I've done this enough times that you're supposed to be able to make 10. Um, I'm going to make eight, obviously. And you're going to fill it, oh, three quarters full. Let's make sure all of them are the same. Okay. And same thing, unless you like to clean at the end, um, I'd rather clean at the beginning and wipe things down at the end. So try your best to, even better, try not to get the edges dirty. By 
the way, by the end of this semester, you'll be able to do what public schools are able to do in grade 12. Okay? Your dishes that you made, that's what I made up. So, um, I understand that there is a time limit, but I have two choices. I either challenge you and you guys can learn more, or else I think that you can play, or uh, I can teach you less. I prefer to challenge you. Do it. If I teach you less, then you'll know less, and then what's the point of taking a class? So. After that, I wipe the slide, and how do I know when it's done? You should know the answer for this one. Very similar to what we do with the, your, what you're doing today. How do I know when it's done? Touch test when it bounces back. Touch test when it bounces back, correct. Okay, I'm cleaning the sides because it's easier to clean it when it's wet than when it's dry. So make sure, or else, um, and if it's super clean, I don't have to go and wash my little um, pan anymore. I'm just cleaning the base. Why am I wasting my time afterwards? Do it now. Okay, faster. So I put it in, okay, and it's going to be in at 350, and then that's basically it until it's a touch test. Then get it out and you're done. Okay, so I'm gonna see how creative you are. What type of uh, um, uh, not muffins, um, fruits cake you're gonna make? What will go well with chocolate? So we're not doing the chocolate whipping cream. No, you get to, because it's gonna be too hot. Your chocolate whipping, whipping cream will melt. But I would prefer that you could try making it at home. It's actually really easy. Okay, so make your chocolate whipping cream at home. Any other questions?